Welcome back, Dragonborns. In today's video, we're diving into Chapter 2 of the must-have Skyrim mods for November 2024. We've got some incredible mods lined up that you won't want to miss. So grab your gear and let's get started. Let's start by introducing the gameplay-related modes. There are a few interesting mods. And first up is the Eating Animations and Sounds First Person Patch. This mod adds first-person animations to the popular Eating Animations and Sounds mod. If you prefer playing Skyrim in first-person mode, this patch is fantastic news. Originally, Eating Animations and Sounds only supported third-person view, meaning that in first-person, eating and drinking lacked any animation. With this patch, now when you eat food or drink, you'll see corresponding animations and hear sound effects in first-person, greatly enhancing immersion. This mod makes first-person gameplay feel much more realistic, allowing you to really experience every detail of your character's actions. Next up is chatty NPCs and followers. This mod enhances the interactions between NPCs and followers in Skyrim Special Edition. It adds a variety of dialogues to make the game more immersive. Now, NPCs in towns and villages greet each other and engage in short conversations about the weather or other topics. The greetings and responses vary based on the NPC's race, gender, and relationship. And indoors. I need NPCs ask each other about their health and other personal matters. Milk drinker. The responses are random and can sometimes be rude. Additionally, sure, NPCs whatever. greet, bless, you know and sometimes get annoyed with the player's followers, who respond you know appropriately. This enhances Maybe the interactions so between the NPCs and followers, improving the overall I immersion. Now, this section is the NPC replacer. I improved Skyrim NPCs by adding roughly three mods. First up is Fetri El Serana Replacer. This mod transplants the facial data of the Fetri El follower onto Serana. As shown in the video, it beautifully enhances Serana's appearance. The physical hair, forehead tattoo, and overall facial features are more refined, and the red eyes complement the unique vampire aesthetic. Additionally, it changes Serana's outfit to the Dark Witch armor, giving her a different look that matches her appearance well. This mod is a personal favorite of mine, but if you like it, I think you should give it a try too. Next up is Ray's Replacers, Esbern, the Old Blade. This mod enhances the appearance of Esbern, a key character in Skyrim, by replacing his head with a high poly model. The mod aims to I'm give Esbern the look of an old battle mage and scholar, reflecting his long years of isolation and fear. So you well it uses home. your existing skin textures and body resources, ensuring compatibility without additional skin requirements. Next up is Ray's replacers Eric and Moralki the Frostfruit Men. This mod enhances the appearance of Eric and his father, Moralki, who owns the Frostfruit Inn in Rorikstead. By using high poly heads, the mod aims to give these characters a more detailed and realistic look. The mod is designed to be standalone and uses your existing skin textures and body resources, ensuring compatibility without additional skin requirements. In this section, I'm going to introduce some visual mods. First up is Peace Boss's New Earth Mother Spriggan. This mod changes the appearance of the New Earth Mother Spriggan added in the Dawnguard DLC, using new 3D models and textures to make her more detailed and realistic. While I didn't install it due to its revealing nature, it's a noteworthy mod for those interested in feminizing creatures. Next up is Unique Farmhouse Architecture, Falkreath. This mod introduces a unique architectural style to the farmhouses in the Falkreath region, giving each village a distinct look and feel. By utilizing Base Object Swapper, it modifies both exterior and interior meshes without altering the world space or cell edits ensuring high compatibility with other mods. The mod focuses on improving the textures of wooden roofs, creating a visually unique atmosphere in Falkreath. It is compatible with other city expansion mods and does not affect farmhouses outside the Falkreath region. Next up is Glorious Giant Clutter and Fixes. This mod reworks the objects in giant camps, remodeling and retexturing them while improving collision handling. Previously, I found the objects in giant camps to look somewhat plain, 
almost like raw white wood. But with this mod, they have a much more realistic wooden texture, adding depth and detail to the camp aesthetics. Since it's an ESP-free replacer, it's lightweight and easy to install. While the results may vary slightly depending on any wood-related mods you're using, it generally gives these objects a smoother, more natural wooden appearance. It's a great addition if you want more immersive giant camps in Skyrim. In this section, I'm going to introduce some mods that I added to enhance my mod list. Some of you may already know this mod since I've already introduced it before, but for those who don't, I think it will be helpful, so please watch until the end. First up is Vanilla Hair Remake. This mod completely overhauls 146 vanilla hairstyles across all playable races in Skyrim Special Edition. It replaces the vanilla hairstyles with more detailed physics-based models. Since it is an ESP-free mod, you are free from plugin conflicts, allowing you to place this mod at the top of your NPC overhaul mods and install other NPC overhaul mods below it to ensure that the physics hair works for NPCs not already covered. Despite its comprehensive features, it has minimal impact on performance, while making NPC hair move more realistically, significantly enhancing the immersion in the game. Next up is SMP Wind NG. This mod adds wind-like forces to any SMP-enabled object in outdoor locations. For example, it allows SMP hair to blow in the wind, or SMP capes and outfits to flutter. The wind strength varies based on the weather and altitude, making the game environment more dynamic and immersive. While the original SMP Wind did not work in the SSE environment, SMP Wind NG is compatible with both AE and SSE users, which is why I'm introducing it. The MCM menu allows you to adjust the wind strength on a bone-by-bone -bone basis, making it a convenient and immersive mod. Next up is Skyrim is Windy. This mod enhances immersion by making flora such as plants, grass, bushes, and trees move and react to wind. It includes assets from all DLCs, including those on Solstheim Island. This mod works with major mods like Skyrim Flora Overhaul and True Storms. It is completely script-free, ensuring compatibility with save games and safe uninstallation. It enhances immersion without affecting performance making Skyrim's environment feel more dynamic and alive. Finally, we have Ryten's Landscape and Mountain. I'm introducing these mods together because they are created by the same modder, and using both enhances the natural integration between the terrain and the rocks, resulting in minimal visible boundaries and a seamless blend between the two. One of the main reasons Ryten's work caught my attention is due to the incredible depth and dimensionality it brings. With parallax effects, the surface of rocks, riverbank pebbles, and the base of cliffs have an outstanding three-dimensional appearance. After installing these mods, they became some of my favorites, significantly enhancing my satisfaction with my game's visuals. I'm using the 2K textures, which have minimal performance impact while providing stunning visuals. The green tundra textures offer a clean and crisp color that I highly recommend. Although the rocks tend to be on the darker side, which might disappoint those who prefer a lighter tone, if you like darker rocks with realistic depth, this combination of mods is perfect for you. Finally, let's wrap up the video with Nern Necessities, SMP Accessories. This mod introduces new accessories with HDT cloth physics to Skyrim Special Edition. Based on low fantasy aesthetics, it adds everyday items that citizens of Tamriel might wear, including bags, backpacks, and capes. Each item comes in various color options, and most items have physics effects applied through SMP. The mod provides optimized performance with collision-free physics and low poly proxy collisions. It also supports particle lights and SPID, adding immersive accessories that enrich the game world. This mod significantly enhances Skyrim's immersion, making the game feel even more vibrant and detailed. And that's a wrap for Chapter 2 of our must-have Skyrim mods for November 2024. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth Skyrim content. Don't forget to ring that notification bell 
so you never miss an update. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these mods or any others you're excited about. So drop a comment below. As always, happy modding Dragonborns, and see you in the next video.